Argentina up against Tonga in the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Uh, both these teams could use a win, certainly, uh, as they opened their Rugby World Cup with a loss. Uh, Argentina with a narrow loss against France. They are third in the pool. They're above the USA and Tonga because they picked up a bonus point. Uh, USA and Tonga both on no points. Uh, Tonga unable to score a try uh, in their game against England. Uh, but the USA, in terms of points difference, got beaten by a lot a lot more in their game just last night. So, uh, yeah, a fair bit to play for for these two teams. Uh, if either of them is going to get out of the pool, it's going to take uh, a big result. At least Argentina, for them, they probably have to beat England. Uh, Tonga would probably have to beat Argentina and then someone else as well, like other than the USA. So it's going to be tough. Uh... Put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look. Historically, these guys don't have a long rugby history. I could only find one game uh, played between these two teams. And that was in 2015, where Argentina won at the World Cup. That was 45 points to 15, so pretty comfortable uh, winners in that game there. So Argentina, they've made a few changes. I guess some senior guys uh, maybe been benched. Partly because of that uh, previous result against France. Uh, the main ones I'm thinking of is Crevy moves to the bench uh, with uh, Montoja coming in ahead of him. But those guys swapped throughout Super Rugby and fairly recently I guess it's it's kind of been a 50-50 split as to who gets the game. So it's not like a huge surprise that Crevy doesn't get a start. Uh, especially with how long the tournament is in terms of playing games in quick succession. Uh, Urda Pajeta also comes in for Sanchez. So Sanchez is on the bench. Uh, there's no Mojano on the wings. He is out of the squad, so it's Batista Delgui who comes in on the bench. Uh, it's still Bofelli, Moroni, uh, but Carreras moves up to take that left wing spot. Uh, Kubeli is still there at nine. De La Fuente and Orlando are still there in the midfield, so there's not not like sweeping changes, but uh, partial changes to the team. Uh, the front row alongside Montoya is Chapa, Tetis Chaparro and Figalo. So those guys are the same as the last game. Petty and Lavanini still there in the second row. Matera is still captain. Crema is still there at seven. But Lazana moves up from the bench to number eight. So again, <clears throat> in terms of the number of changes that a lot of these teams have made for their second game, this is probably on the slightly lesser side. But, I mean, compared to Russia, who didn't change a man, uh, it's, it's a fair few. Vivas and Medrano are still there on the bench. Alemano again. Ortega Desio moves to the bench. Escura is still there on the bench. And I mentioned Sanchez and Delgi uh, already for Tonga. Uh, it's a really hard one to gauge their first performance against England because there were a lot of people who thought they were going to get beaten by a lot more. And they didn't. And they, they managed to shut things down fairly well. England didn't get their fourth try until quite late on in the game. And you've seen against USA yesterday that England really can open you up. So there's a credit to them there, but they only scored three points. So that was a wee bit disappointing. So they'll be looking to add a few more points in this one, obviously, and try to get over the line. Uh, they have made some changes also. There's still Fusi Hoi and Tamiya Funa uh, as the props, but uh, Na Ngaomo uh, is the starting hooker. And uh, Sakalia moves to the bench. Uh, Losi and Fafita are still there in the second row. Kalamafoni, Capelli, and Vaipulu, the back row, is unchanged for them. Uh, Takalua is still there at 9, but Fiverr comes in at 10. Uh, Morath is not in the side at all. He's, I guess, being rested. The guy's getting on, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, Halafunua is in at 12. Um, sorry, he's in at 11, moving from fullback. Uh, Pietau is in at 12. He is captain. He was 13 last week. Uh, Hingano is in at 13, and he didn't play in the squad last week at all, so hopefully he gets a bit of crash ball up because he's good at that. Uh, Lolohia and uh, Vianu uh, are the other changes. Well, Lolohia is still 14 as he was last week, but uh, Vianu moves into to 15 as that jersey was vacated by Halofanua, who moves to the wing. Uh, the other guys, Steve Murphy is there. I never realized his name was Sitovini. Uh, he's always been called Steve Murphy. But yeah, Sitovini Murphy, he's a, a good guy to have. I think he's been under an injury cloud, so it's good to have him there uh, on the bench. Uh, Fosita comes in as the backup guy to cover that 10 roll. Uh, Kupavuna moves to the bench. Fuka Fuka's still there. Nasimanu's still there. Uh, Fia is still there. And like I mentioned, uh, Fifita and uh, Sakalia are the backups in terms of prop and hooker as well. So... It's not going to be an easy ask for, for Tonga, that's for sure. 
But like I said, I really do think they were better than people expected them to be in that opening game. So let's hope they can back it up. But then again, Argentina also really need a bonus point win. Kind of minimum requirement. Uh, the bookies have got Argentina by 29. That would probably be a bonus point win. Whereas uh, Rugby Forecast has got, um, got Argentina by 22. So a bit closer uh as i said they've only played the once before and it was pretty one-sided but yeah should be an interesting game a few changes on both sides uh they both played uh tonga played on sunday argentina played on saturday so there's not a whole lot of um difference between that and it's a decent turnaround it's about a week it's not uh, one of those four-day turnarounds or five-day turnarounds so we'll see how these two teams go probably in terms of pressure uh, a lot more on argentina because tonga already kind of did decent in their first game whereas Argentina would have liked to won that game and put one foot in the quarterfinals but hey we'll see what happens uh, you guys let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you again soon see you later you guys know I'm into my rugby gear if you are interested in getting some rugby kit especially for the 2019 Rugby World Cup uh, check out England Rugby Store it's not just for England gear despite the name All Blacks Japan Georgia South Africa Ireland all the kit uh, is here if you are keen on getting some rugby gear um, discount code two cents ten if you put that in when you're going to the checkout you get an additional 10 percent off your purchase so the link is in the description for england rugby store do check it out guys if you're going to get some jerseys um, now's the time to do it and um yeah enjoy the rest of the tournament